Here on the ITT Technical Institute campus, students enroll in programs to make their lives better. But in this new lawsuit obtained by five investigates, the Massachusetts Attorney General says those in the computer network systems program are left with just the opposite. Loading them up with debt, leaving them high and dry without any education, and frankly bilking the taxpayers out of a lot of money. Attorney General Maura Healy says from 2010 through at least 2013, ITT used unfair and harassing sales tactics to lure students to enroll and take out expensive loans. Two years of tuition for the program at the time was $47,000. What did students find when they showed up? They found outdated technology, absent teachers. They were actually told in certain instances to Google to get the answers to the questions. So really egregious, and this is the kind of unfair predatory practice we want to stop. The lawsuit claims ITT admissions representatives were publicly shamed or even fired if they failed to meet their quotas of students to enroll. It also accuses the school of misleading students about job placement rates in the computer network systems program. ITT Technical Institute calls the lawsuit misleading, telling five investigates that this investigation is one of the longest fishing expeditions in its regulatory history with any state agency. ITT called the claims baseless allegations and said it's confident that the evidence does not support the AG's claim. We're tired of it. We've seen too much of it here and we're going to continue to be aggressive in this area because it's students who are getting hurt. This is the AG's latest action against a for-profit school. Just last week, the Attorney General announced former students of Corinthian College's Everest Institute in Massachusetts can have their student loan debt discharged. The AG's office has reached settlements worth more than $6 million with four other for-profit schools and is currently in litigation with the American Career Institute. We will work with you and we are working to fight for relief and further discharges for students who have been victimized by other predatory schools. The Attorney General's lawsuit is asking ITT to provide a refund to students in the Computer Network Systems Program. Now the AG has a student loan assistance unit for anyone to call. You can get more information on our WCVB mobile app. Karen Anderson, 5 Investigate.